Hello again everyone, and welcome back aboard Felicity, November 8033 Foxtrot, a Cessna flight training device that I built at home. We are on the ground here at the Morrow County Airport, my home airport. Uh, I've got some time for a quick flight. Um, the, kids, <coughs> the kids are coming back for the first time since we had that F1 come through. Uh, so the rest of the week I'll pretty much be grounded. Um, so, but I did want to get one in real quick. Feeling a bit nostalgic. Um, going to head over to uh, Andy Barnhart Memorial uh, near Dayton, Ohio. It's kind of where my uh, aviation interest started. Um, if anybody's read the, uh, the bio um, on my Twitch account, kind of explains everything about that. Um, but Andy Barnhart's where my... Uh, Grandfather uh, hangered his uh, aircraft, um, and where I uh, initially learned to fly out of. It was not modeled in X plane, so I went ahead and uh, did model it for X plane, and it is on the X plane scenery gateway. So um, feel free to download it um, if you have the uh, the uh, March. 2022 release, you know, of the Gateway Airports, which you can get on the uh, xplane.org. It's basically going to be the last release. It's all of the current, uh, most recent 3D scenery, sort of the best of the best. Since there's no re more releases for Xplane 11, um, your best bet for all of the uh, the newer airports is to go to the uh, xplane.org and download the uh, the updated uh, Gateway Airports. All right, WestJet, welcome, and uh, you be safe out there, and we'll catch you next time. <coughs> so, um, all right, we are in the uh, 172 November. It is a flight model that I found on the uh, xplane.org. Um, uh, enhanced flight models. I think it was like 10 bucks for the pack of three. It was a 172 Sierra and a 172 Mike and then the 172 November. Uh, so we are in a carbureted bird. Uh, fortunately, I am equipped in here with the the uh, primer and our carbine. Uh, remember, this was built as a trainer. So all of that stuff is uh, you know, in here so that I can apply both the uh, you know, the 172N, which is a primary trainer, uh, which is what I originally built listing for, and then as well as some of the uh, few injected models. All right, let's get going here. Uh, Pre-flight and walk around is already done. Both wings are full of fuel. We do have about five and a half hours of fuel on board. Let's make sure that we are going to be utilizing the appropriate uh, checklist for the aircraft we're flying today. We are not in the 182 Tango. We are going to be in the 192 or 172 November. 180 horsepower. Um, I, I do use Checkmate checklist. I, I do find them very convenient. <coughs> I do also compare them to the aircraft POH just to make sure that everything is accurate and, um, and what it needs to be because uh, Checkmate is essentially just a translation of, you know, um, of the POH. So you always want to make sure that everything does kind of match up with what the uh, manufacturer recommends um, as far as that goes. So let's get going here. As I said, our uh, walk around is already done. Uh, passenger, we'll move right along to our interior checklist. Passenger brief kind of explains you what we are doing. Uh, Morrow County. We're going to do a quick hop over to uh, Ohio State University um, before we head to our final destination of Andy Barnhart Memorial. Um, okay, Hobbs Tech time. I don't fly this one often. We've got 26.7. Twenty-six point seven. I should probably add more to this one. 
take that. And I think I've got 560 in the 182. All right. Tech time 26.7. Circuit breakers are all in. Alternate static is in. Out. Out. In. Okay. Got a drop there. All right. Looks good. Start checklist. Seat check. Let's go ahead and get scooted up here so that we can reach our. Uh, our pedals, and actually, you know what, bear with me just one second. Mm. There is one more operation I need to enable real quick. is alive now. Okay. Where were we at? Start checklist seat track. Let's get scooted up here so we can reach the flight controls. Or other pedals. Okay. Alright. That feels good there. Uh, avionics are off, autopilot is off, our car paint is off. Um, mixture is full rich, prop is high. Slight throttle, let's go ahead and hit the primer. One, two, three. Let's try three for now. It might take a little more if you hadn't started in a while. Alright. Come on, lock in there. Okay. Clear prop. Looks clear on the left. Looks clear on the right. Let's turn our master on. Beacon on. Alright. And mags to start. Clear. Alright. Our oil pressure is in the green. That's good. And our fuel gauge is our reading half. Let's go ahead and shut her down and find out why that is real quick. Master off, mags off. Let's go ahead and confirm. Our fuel level. And that would be why. I know why. I was doing some uh, work in Plane Maker on some of the view settings. So when I reloaded the aircraft, it reset the default. All right. So let's go. There's our five hours and forty-five minutes of fuel and payload weight. We'll just call it, with the flight bag, we'll call it 250. So actually, yeah. Now, you guys are with me. We'll bring a passenger. Man. Um, you know what? We're, we're just going to call it 500 and we'll leave it at that. Alright. Weight and balance looks good. Alright. Let's try this again. Master on. There we go. She was reading full. Beacon on. Clear prop. Make sure it's full rich. Brakes on. Max to start. Clear. Alright. We didn't need to reprimer. We had just uh, just started her up. 
for a couple of minutes there and shut down, so no need to reprime. Alright. Let's sit here for a couple minutes, wait for our oil temperature to come up. Meanwhile, let's see, we'll turn our landing line on for safety. And, alright, pre taxi checklist. Let's get our seat belts on. And let's not hit the throttle with our knee board. I really don't like to idle over a thousand until my oil temperature gets up into the green there. Okay. Let's turn our avionics on. Turn our transponder on. We are VFR mode Charlie. Okay. Weather eight is not uh, Morrow County does not have its own METAR station. The closest weather station to me right now is out of Marion, Ohio, Kilo Mike, November, November. Um, but we also know that while I'm sitting on the ground here, I'm not going to be able to pull that simply because um, your METAR and your, your ATIS generally requires line of sight to the VHF communication protocol. Um, but through the magic of simulation, I am just going to go ahead and tune that frequency and press this button right here and pull that info. Kilo, Mike, November, November, airport information, Foxtrot, two, three, five, three, Zulu, weather, wind, two, one, seven, at eight, visibility, one, zero, sky clear, temperature, two, six, two point, one, three, altimeter, three, zero, one, three, advise on initial contact, you have information, Foxtrot. Alright, Foxtrot is current, Foxtrot is also irrelevant right now. Kilo. Uh, Foxtrot identifier came from Active Sky XP, and all it is is just an uh, information identifier. has nothing to do with the VATSIM network whatsoever. Um, however, the weather information is uh, real world weather, and it is going to match up with the VATSIM network. So, speaking of VATSIM, we are connected. Let's see if we do have anybody online. Uh, nobody at close that's really going to be of service to us currently. Um, but I will moni monitor that as we get closer to Ohio State, which is a uh, class delta. Um, Alright, our oil temperature is up here in the green, where we had on our checklist. Okay, transponder's on. I don't need to worry about my taxi light right now. Brakes I'll test on the roll, as well as the attitude indicator, um, turn coordinator, heading indicator to compass. Let's go ahead and uh, check that. Looks like about 190, 188. Our altimeter was... Did we get it? Was it even provided? Kilo Mike, November, November, airport information, Gulf 2353, Zulu, weather, wind 217, at 8, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 26, 2.13, altimeter 3013, advise on initial contact that you have information, Gulf. Okay, well I heard it that time, if it was played the first time, I did not hear it, so. Kilo Mike, 3013. And that does match my field elevation here at Morrow County, about 1,086 feet. Um, Alright, and a start checklist done, pre-taxi checklist is done. Alright, we are ready to taxi. And we are in an uncontrolled field, um, however I am on the VATSIM network and I will make my traffic calls as appropriate. Um, when I say as appropriate, my airport's also in the middle of nowhere. I know there's nobody here, and I'm not going to announce my taxi roll. If I was at some place like Astoria, absolutely.
So winds were 217, um, that is going to favor runway 28. If you are in the central Ohio area and you do fancy a real plane, plane ride, check out Sparks Fly here, um, based out of Morrow County. They do offer scenic plane tours over central Ohio. Um, it is a great company and I do not get any sort of kickback for saying that other than it is a great company. So we'll go down here to the end, we'll do a uh, run up, and we'll go ahead and uh, take off out of here. Roger, welcome. Welcome aboard Felicity and hello. And I appreciate that. Uh, if this is your first time here, um, this is a home built uh, 172 slash 182 flight training device. give us a bit of a uh, crosswind on our takeoff, uh, which is fine, still kind of, it's a heavy crosshead. It's more of a crosswind, but still a headwind. Um, so essentially, once I uh, get lined up here at the whole short line, essentially, uh, I can do my run-up right here. Alright. Run-up checklist. Fuel is on both. Uh, trim set forward, take off. Flight controls down on the right, up on the left, down on the left, up on the right. Elevator, rudder, both feel responsive. Alright, our flaps are good. Just wanted to double check that. Okay, uh, primer, our primer is in and locked. Make sure your best power is looking good there. Alright, 1700, here we go. Left mag, there's my drop. Right mag, there's my drop. Carpet, drop. Alright. Suctioned in the green, oil pressure, oil temperature looks good, good fuel flow. Manifold pressure looks good. Although now all of a sudden my voltmeter light's flashing. You know what, I better know why and I'll deal with that later. That has to do with me adding the uh, GP and the GNS430 and not adjusting the uh, voltage in plane maker. Um, so that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the enunciator light currently, but I will make a mental note to look into that. Alright, let's go ahead and power back. And before I go any further, should probably go ahead and file my uh, VFR flight plan on VATSIM. 
So they know November 8033. Foxtrot, we are BFR today, type 172, lightweight category, we are slash golf, departure for Indian Niner, oh, block time, we'll just say it's 835 Eastern, 035 Zulu, we'll just say 040, after 2, 35, uh, 45, and now uh, 2500. If we go to OSU, airspeed, and yeah, we'll just say 100. Arrival uh, 3, Oscar Hotel 0. En uh, route time, what did we calculate that at? Um, 73 miles. So we'll just, we'll just say 45 minutes or so. Which will probably be about all the time we have by the time the kids arrive. So we'll just call it an hour. Fuel endurance, we had 5 hours and 45 minutes on board. Route details for VFR, direct, let's see. VFR, direct, direct to uh, our final destination there. Remark, we are vets and weather enabled. Okay, let's fly that flight plan. situation real quick. Let me just make sure it's not explain. Um, we'll enter our failures and we'll just go ahead and fix all systems and see if that doesn't take care of it. If it doesn't, then uh, it is something I'm going to have to look into in Plane Maker. Okay, Master Beacon. Make sure full rich clear. All right, that seemed to take care of it, and I'm just wondering if the last time that the four-year-old had the controls, if uh, that inversion didn't whack out the alternator on this one. Um, okay. Avionics on, alright. We're still charging, amp meter looks good. Tell you what, I'm just gonna hit it all. Tank seat, nav, strobe, keto heat. Okay, any other load I can throw on this bird real quick. Uh, alright, I think, I think that's just about it. Alright, we're still charging. Okay, so we'll just chalk it up to uh, um, previous landing failure and and P being me, uh, being on vacation. Yep, sounds good. Okay. So we are charging now. Now I think we are ready to go. We are on Unicom, uh, COM1. Let's see, alright. Indy Center is offline. Okay. More county traffic, Skyline November 8, Skyhawk November 8033 Foxtrot is taking runway 28 and going to be making a left crosswind departure to the south, Morrow County. Okay. Alright, 
center line. Full power. Rudder for center. More rudder. Alright, airspeed's coming alive. 60, let's rotate. Looking for VY, about 70. Sight picture is a bit different in this plane than what I'm used to in the 182. Alright, we're about to my 700 feet here. Let's go ahead and make a crosswind. Moro County traffic, Skyline November 833 Foxtrot, turning left crosswind, 28 Moro County. There's our 2,000 feet. Level off here, just kind of hang out here for a minute. Well, kind of traffic, Skyline of number 833 Foxtrot is uh, departing the pattern to the west. Last call on Morrow County. Some time to do a uh, touch and go at my place, three Oscar Hotel Seven. My place gives us runway choices of 06 and 24. We are going to take runway 24. We are going to approach over the uh, well, the locals here. Uh, it's a sawmill. Um, I cut up lumber and trees. Um, and because of the way the trees are situated here in my place, you can the approach is almost over the sawmill, and you kind of dog leg in there. Not quite. If you do have the most up-to-date global airports installed for Explain, which you can get on the uh, Explain uh, forum, Explain uh, no org forum, um, you will have this airport in here, in there. However, the uh, the most recent downloaded release, 11.55, does not contain it. My place. 
Police traffic, Skyhawk Sky November 8033, Foxtrot is crossing over midfield 24, my place. My place traffic, Skyline November 8033, Foxtrot, left downwind 24, my place. And I'm not going to announce the sawmill approach on the rat sailing intercom. Uh, that's just a local thing and no, absolutely nobody that's even listening on either would even know what that's going to mean. Unless there's that odd chance that somebody that lives close by is actually on the sim right now within 30 nautical miles. And since I don't see any traffic within 30 nautical miles, maybe I will. My place traffic, Skyhawk November 8033 Fox Road on the left base to join the sawmill approach for 24 at my place. Flaps My place traffic, Skyline, no Skyhawk November 8033 Foxtrot is over the sawmill for 24 in my place. The sawmill being that orange building kind of right there, just about to pop over the cow. Clips 2. Alright, we're just going to do a touch and go, we're not going to do a full stop. Up out of here and get over. Alright. On to Ohio State University. My place traffic, Sky Lane. Skyhawk November 8033 Fox Try Airborne off of 24 and departing the area to the southwest. My place. Alright, we'll climb up here 2,500 for the duration of our trip to Ohio State University. of uh, call myself out for not using my carp heat on my descent down into my place as I should have. So that was something I completely overlooked, uh, especially being complacent about it because I've been flying the fuel injected birds for quite a while now. thousand feet to get up to twenty five hundred. Uh, no ATC yet, which is fine. It's traffic jerk six eight tango back taxi three five.
to the west just a bit, and I'm going to pick up uh, State Route 23 and follow that Traffic down. Traffic here at 412 Charlie Papa, departing 17, this is Westwood Turnout. Yep, we'll probably fly right over the uh, city of Delaware, Ohio while we're at it. Traffic 115 Tango Alpha is turning crosswind. Alpha November over. If uh, the uh, weather seems to have gone down there, we think we can make it in, but if we don't, we we're wondering if you could, uh, if you hear us go miss, to send out the, uh, we've got a car there, or car service, if they could just come to Birch from the direction. Okay, yeah, the weather, uh, according to the uh, AWOS there, has gone down right at minimum. Traffic, Skyhawk November 8033 Foxtrot, about 7 miles east of the field. We're going to be overflying the field, 2,500 Delaware. Just off to the right, um, Allen Creek Lake. Stop at Young Kilo Hotel 7.5 to the south, inbound, full stop, runway 20. Been a bit of a wind push there, I wonder what the weather's like in Delaware. Kilo Delta Lima Zulu Airport Information Juliet two three five three Zulu Weather Wind two one seven at eight Visibility one zero Sky Clear Temperature two six two point one three Altimeter three zero one three Advise on initial contact that you have information Juliet Alright Kilo Delta We are kind of flying directly into the wind. Wind is two, two one alpha. zero. Eight miles to the west, inbound for runway two five. All right, so we are over Delaware, Ohio, right now. Home of the Little Brown Jug Horse Derby. Delaware 
traffic, Skyhawk, November into a 3 Fox Trot, two and a half miles northeast, going to be overflying the field, 2,500 below. Bonanza 37050, uh, five miles to the north, inbound for crosswind runway 26, we're now 126. Traffic, Gulfstream November 889 at Charlie Gulf. Uh, we're at Gulfstream 4, we're uh, 40 miles to the uh, west of the airfield. We'll be coming in on the RNAV GPS 35. Got the traffic. Alright, my descent checklist. Let me just review that real quick. Make sure to rich if I'm lean. Uh, fuel on both carpet as required. Uh, an ATIS, altimeter, and instrument. That's the take off to November 889 at Charlie Stone. We're currently uh, 18 miles to the west of the airfield, 8,800 uh, on the RNAV GPS 35 Augusta Station. Alright, so we are directly over uh, Delaware Municipal, Kilo Lima Delta Zulu currently. Um, the uh, the, the uh, uh, 2 a.m. Or the, uh, what do I want to say? At the end of runway 28, so you're, when you're departing runway 28, you're basically overflying this great big, uh, what are they called? Uh, big hole in the ground, uh, I forget what they're called right now, the name eludes me. Um, I think it starts with an O. Yes, I say that I'm only four miles out for the right downwind. Anyway, um, Cory, Cory, that's the word I'm looking for, Cory. There's a Cory right at the end of the runway 28. Um, and the Cory is a, uh, a great visual, um, reference when you're coming into Delaware. Traffic, Department Lake 02 on the Evictus, about uh, three miles southwest will be entering on the left downwind for the moment. Alright. OSU, looks like we're about ten miles north. Still on Unicom, and we are heading to Ohio State University. Traffic, Carmen Lake, two row music, there's a left field runway, 35, Concord, full stop. Alright, about nine miles, about nine miles uh, north of OSU. Let's grab a let's try and grab OSU. Oh, I don't know if we'll be close enough yet. Um, regardless, winds are coming out of the uh two one zero. Uh, so we're probably gonna end up taking picking a two seven runway. Um We'll just take the little one. Let me just make sure it's still open. Been a while since I flew into OSU. We have no notams to worry about. Okay, we'll just take 27 or 8. Um, traffic beach jet arriving from the uh, southwest, west southwest for left traffic, runway 26. Ohio State Traffic, Skyhawk, November 8, 0, 3, 3, Fox Trot is 7 miles north of the field. Uh, we're going to be making a uh, left downwind, left runway downwind for runway at 27 right, Ohio State. Uh, 
legacy jet is 20 miles to the southwest inbound for landing. Uh, looking for any traffic in the area, please advise. Recognize the traffic is Shannon 777, thank you, Southbound from runway 23 left, we're traffic. Ohio State traffic, Skyhawk, November 033, Fox Trot, 5 miles north, and we crossing over midfield, going to left downwind, 27 right. Ohio State. Traffic Moody, 5 to the southwest. We're entering uh, 45 from left downwind, we're in 3 spot. About three and a half miles out. Traffic, we entering left downwind runway 35 to Peel. Let me drop down here to pattern altitude before we uh, enter the uh, pattern to cross midfield. Ohio well, State University, I did update for X-Plane. Again, it is, it is on the gateway. Traffic, uh, Piper Archer is about 20 miles south, uh, level 5,500 feet, inbound for only 26. Traffic Warrior 32 Juliet, at uh, turn one for Young Eagles 1. Skyhawk 5396 and left base runway 32. Alright, there's 27 left, 27 right. Traffic, Skyhawk 5396, turning final, runway 32, full stop. OSU traffic, Skyhawk November 3 Fox uh, is turning left down 1, 2, 7, right, touch and go, OSU. Kind of pass my numbers. There's a shorter runway than the bigger one. Let me flaps 10. Let me pull my power back to about 15. Capture 80 knots. Turn base. OSU traffic, Skyhawk November 033 Fox, restrut, left base 27 right. Warrior for a uniform, touch and go, OSU. Runway 32. Oops. 
too. OSU traffic, Skyhawk, November 8035, Charlotte, final approach, 27 or 8, touch and go, OSU. Warrior 4, uniform turning final, runway 32. Flaps up, hold power, hold that rudder in, airspeed's coming back out of the line, let's rotate, in for VY, traffic chair gate is 3-1 November to the west, departing to the west, last call. We're going to go down here, we're going to pick up Interstate 70, and we're going to take Interstate 70 all the way out. Traffic, Skyhawk 53996, 7 miles to the northwest, coming in for a pattern on a 45 downwind runway 32. Alright, let's get up to traffic to That's gonna be our cruise altitude. Feet. We'll level off here. And now we are direct to Andy Barnhart Memorial. Three Oscar Hotel Zero.
still to the final one I want to show. Okay, I don't know what that is. But that's coming over that Chandina Com. They must have had a stuck mic there. And there's only a, there's a virtual range. So there's not very many possibilities as to who it could have been. Columbus traffic, Southwest 3610, descending down to 2500. We're on a right downwind for runway 2A right. Must have been him. here. Alright. There's I-70. We're going to follow I-70 west out to New Carlisle, Ohio. Making a ground speed right now of about 100 and indicating 110 we do have a slight uh, headwind Gonna fly over Madison County Airport, Kilo Uniform, Yankee Foxtrot, kind of parallels Interstate 70 here. South of Springfield, north of Springfield, Beckley. Then we'll need to make sure that we're under 2,400 feet uh, by the time we get uh, within a couple miles of Andy Barnhart. 
because we've got Dayton International here. We also have Wright Patterson Air Force Base um, all within the relatively close vicinity. So there's a lot of aircraft operation in the area um, almost all the time. We are about 31 nautical miles from our destination. Probably going to take us about, uh, well, let's see here. Which point? Traffic continues about 2 miles to the northeast of the field at uh, 2300. Timber and engine now will be landing runway 19. Tailwind's coming in uh, the quarter of 25. Alright, so probably going to take us about 20 minutes or so to get there if we maintain this uh, ground speed. And then, unfortunately, we'll probably have to call that one it. Kids are on their way back. Um, excited to have power and internet back now. Traffic, uh, Skyhawk, uh, step mile. Miles out, uh, on a free of practice approach. Got here. Several trees were uprooted during our recent tornado, um, and things are just now starting to get cleared up and back on. Um, so for safety, we uh, we sent the kids to the other set of parents. This is one of my training, training fields. To get down to pattern altitude here. Short final 10. Madison County traffic, Skyhawk, November 8th, 33 Fox shots about two miles northeast of the field. Now we're going to be crossing over midfield to join the left down wind for 2 7, touch and go, Madison County. Bravo, coming on, coming up on midfield out of the southeast for a left down wind for runway seven. County traffic, Skyhawk November 8233 Fox Chad crossing over midfield to join the left downwind for a 27 touch and go, Madison County. Okay. Traffic, Trinidad 341 Tango Bravo turning left base for runway 7. like a good spot for a downwind. 
Madison County Madison traffic, Skyhawk November 8033 Fox Child, left town wind 27, touch and go Madison County. Okay, I beam the numbers, showtime. Power back, carpet on for descent. Give me, where we have 10 degrees of flaps. And let me capture 80 knots here. Traffic, Zanfor for 19 or Quebec. I'm uh, three miles There's out. my 45. Go, uh, Mike, you go ahead. I'm going to go in and approach on the downwind, left downwind. Madison County traffic, Skyhawk, November Ranger, 33 Foxtrot, left base 27, touch and go, Madison County. Madison County traffic, Skyhawk, November Ranger, 33 Foxtrot, final approach 27, touch and go, Madison County. Pumps 2. A little bit low. We're all right. Traffic Skyhawk 7347 is now three miles. Uh, making left downwind for zero seven. Traffic Vance for for one nine Quebec. Uh, turning left downwind for zero seven. Certainly not the best and certainly not on center like I wanted to be. Full power flaps up, right rudder for center, airspeed to the line, rotate. I want to kind of fly ground effect here real quick. I'll check something. This airport. Alright, I'm going to have to make some changes to this. Traffic Skyline 264, golf 10 miles southeast. Uh, Climb back up 2,500, get back up to our cruise altitude. Traffic, one out of Quebec base for 07. Traffic, one nine Quebec, final, zero seven. Coming, Sky, five six, Romeo, train left downwind, zero seven. All right, two thousand five hundred. Let's go ahead and level off here. Traffic Skyhawk 7347, left base 07. No Indy Center currently. We got Montreal, Toronto, New York, Boston, Jacksonville, DC, and Atlanta. Pretty much all of the eastern seaboard. Traffic Skyhawk 7347, final 07. Oh, Boston. Boston on there. Yep. Just missing Cleveland and Indy, and pretty much the whole eastern would be covered.
Doesn't look like we have any fun VORs we can track on the way there. It's a Rosewood VOR, but that's way north. Traffic stalling uh, 2856 Romeo. Uh, I'm number two, but we're way out in the pastures. Traffic Skyline 2856 Romeo, turning base leg 07. Howdy, howdy there, Honker. Welcome aboard, buddy. Uh, en route to uh, a small private field, Andy Barnhart Memorial. I took off from my home airport, did a couple touch and goes so far. And we are about uh, about 20 miles away from our final destination. My kids are on their way back up. This is the first night they'll be home since that uh, tornado came through last Tuesday. Traffic skyline 2624 Golf, two and a half mile uh, midfield from the southeast. We're overflowing for left traffic seven. And Andy Barnhart Memorial, where we're where we're going to, is where uh, my aviation Traffic career kind of started. Traffic skyline 2624 Golf, overhead for left downwind entry to seven, full stop. Uh, and that's where uh, my grandfather flew out of uh, most of his life, and where his hang his plans were hangered. So a lot of us spent a lot of childhood time there, a lot of adult time there. Um, so that's where we're headed. Traffic skyline 2624 Golf, turning left downwind seven. we get closer, we are going to go down to about 2,000 feet just so we can be under the uh, Dayton shelf there. And uh, let's, let's just go ahead and drop down to 2,000 feet now. RP on, power back. Traffic, RV7 crossing over the departure end of runway 7 for the downwind. Uh, we're just going to hang out down here close to 2000. Traffic, RV-7, midfield, downwind, runway 7. Car off, we're at 2,000 feet, we're going to hang out here. RV, left face, zero 07. Traffic, south by one pop as it's approaching the end of uh, runway 7. Departure end and uh, crossing over left downwind for seven. I didn't necessarily want to overfly the town of Springfield, so we're just kind of kind of sliced between the two, Springfield and Springfield Beckley Airport. Most of the time I come in from the north, um, but since we went down to Madison County, we're just going to come in below Springfield instead of above. Uh, Traffic, Diamond Star 899, Delta Sierra 2004 miles to the north, uh, coming in at the downwind degree. 
Runway choices where we're going, we have 0 niner and 27, which is a 30 foot wide asphalt, and we have 1028, which is 100 foot wide grass. Um, we are going to pick the asphalt runway. Uh, this is kind of my preferred, simply because it is only 30 feet wide. There's always kind of a... I, I challenge myself on that one. Traffic, uh, Diamond 405 Mike Alpha, departing runway 6 to the south. And again, this is another airport that I did for X-Plane, that's on the gateway. <laughs> if you're an X-Plane user, um, and not many people know this, so I highly recommend you do this. You can download the Global Airport Update from the xplaneforum.org. Um, it is dated for March of 2022. It gives you the most up-to-date airports for your version of X-Plane 11. Um, there will be no more public releases for X-Plane 11. So to get all of the uh, airports that have been uploaded and approved since the release of X-Plane 11.55, um, I highly recommend you download that global airport update. Uh, and you will go ahead and get about 26 airports that I've done as well when you get that update. So, And most of the airports are here in central Ohio. Um, kind of try to keep that localized because I do a lot of Ohio, um, Ohio prop hops. Alien 182, Victor, departing runway 24. I think, in fact, I'll, I'll go ahead and post a link in my Discord, um, in my Discord hangar, with a, a link to the uh, Explain Global Airport update. I'll do that after this flight. That way, uh, it's available um, anytime you need it there. Skyline one eighty two, Victor, it's parked there to the south. So it looks like we're about 10 miles away. Andy Barnhart traffic, Skyhawk November at 033 Foxtrot is 10 miles to the east. Going to be entering the left downwind runway 09er, Andy Barnhart. So we kind of skirted around the southern part of Springfield. We're going to head uh, north of Interstate 70 now. Traffic Cessna 776, clear runway, taxi to the field bump. So that I can grab that downwind.
Hey JPC, welcome and thanks for the raid there buddy. Greatly appreciate it. Welcome raiders. Um, we are unfortunately almost getting ready to call it close for the night. Um, but uh, we are heading over to Andy Barnhart Memorial. It's uh, where my uh, aviation uh, interest peaked. It's where my grandfather hangered a lot of his aircraft, where I first uh, received some of my first flight instruction. Um, and also, uh, one of the main reasons I built this air this uh, training device here. Uh, so my, my grandfather's uh, a great pilot and he got sick and FAA pulled his medical. Uh, and that's when I set out to build Felicity. Uh, but unfortunately, he, ne he never got to, to use it by the time he passed. Uh, I still like to think he's in the right seat, though. Alright, so we're about six miles. I think I can go ahead and set up for my uh, en entry now. I'm far enough north of the field, we can enter a 45 and be alright. Andy Barnhart traffic, Skyhawk November 8033 Fox Shots, about 5 miles east. Going to be entering the 45 to join the left downwind for a 0 er Andy Barnhart. Traffic last here for my Kilo taxi from the North Sea hangars to the run up block, runway A4. Pitch traffic, call 5 Kilo Tango, 2 mile final, 1 0 major. I do have the field in sight, it is directly at our 12 o'clock. We're actually just slightly low pattern altitude, so let's go ahead and get up there. Okay, there's our 2,000 feet. Let's go ahead and level back out. Mason traffic 044 is turning base for 10 zero Mason. Zero niner, thirty foot wide asphalt. Runway one zero, hundred foot wide grass. Uh, we are going to take the asphalt. It is, it is a good, a nice challenge. Um, we do not want to overfly the town of New Carlisle, um, so don't be surprised when I kind of round my downwind to final. We don't have a whole lot of room to work with. I'm essentially going to kind of slice down in between there. Andy Barnhart traffic, Skyhawk, November 8033 Foxtrot is 2 to the east, going to be entering 45, join the left down wind. Zero, zero niner, Andy Barnhart. I must be trimmed down. And we lost 150 feet again. Alright, let me back at our pattern altitude. Okay. Lake Clear is traffic, Skylane 265, Foxtrot is. Port of the southwest, transitioning northeast bound at 2500. Lately. 
Island traffic, Otter 42 is over Lopez, coming up the beam of the airport, descending to 3004 Friday Harbor Water. Andy Barnhart traffic, Skyhawk November 8033, Fox Charles on the left downwind, 090 full stop, Andy Barnhart. Okay. Let's go ahead and power back. Now 1500. Maybe flaps 10. Or you see sound traffic coming out of the airport. Andy right downwind, so before the party to power to the south. I mean, Andy Barnhart traffic, Skyline Hulk, November 033 Foxtrot is on the left base to short final on 09 at full stop. Andy Barnhart. Andy Barnhart traffic, Skyhawk, November 8033, Fox Shot, final approach, 09 or full stop, Andy Barnhart. Working on an eastbound, Manager 416, Andy Barnhart, Skyhawk November 8033 Fox Trots, clear of 09er and um, taxing to the ramp, Andy Barnhart. 10 according to traffic, section 732, so it's 10 miles to the south of 2500, we'll be in on the right now, we're for roughly 1 8 full stop. Okay. Well, there we are. Um, this is our final destination for the evening. If you are new here, I greatly appreciate you coming in. Um, if you've come in with JPC, great guy, greatly appreciate that. Uh, feel free to go ahead and follow so you can catch the next one. Um, if you've come back to see me, as always, I greatly appreciate it. Flying is fun. Flying is more fun when it's more than one. And Honker, I appreciate it. Yeah, that uh, that landing actually turned out to be a, a slicker than I expected to be so thank you for that um, best case scenario depending on how things work out with the kids this week I will be back up on Thursday um, for an event with one of the groups that I'm with and if that doesn't happen definitely going to do something this weekend but I do miss the kids going to spend some time with them after the recent bad weather so, until the next time, you guys all uh, take care and stay safe, and let's see who we can send you over to today. Um, well, let's go pay the great Mr. Melvin Leroy a visit, shall we? Uh, Melvin Leroy does a lot of great stuff with the uh, GA, um, so let's, let's go raid him. Um, and again, raiders, thanks for coming in. Alright, let's go ahead and shut things down here, avionics going off, lights going off, mixture of rich, Charlene, G5's going off, maxed off and masters off. Okay, attack time out on that one, let's just Note that down here. 28.0. So we got 1.3 on that one in the uh, 172 November carbureted bird. Okay. All right. 
thanks everyone for coming in today. And we will catch you all later.